get there guys. So, back from Adelaide, went there, not the weekend just gone, the one before, the end of the month, and last month, and had a somewhat relaxing time, I mean with kids, yeah, <laughs> no holidays ever relaxing. Um, got to go and see some sights and do some stuff, so it was pretty cool. And um, found an awesome, awesome tobacco store when I was over there. And as some of you know, I'm a uh, lover of pipes. And ended up picking up a new pipe. Can't believe it. It's absolutely awesome. As you can see, I have smoked it a um, couple of times. This is a GG Mirisham lined briar. And um, yeah, picked this up. Picked up some awesome tobacco while I was there, got some Sherlock Holmes blend and some navy flake, so pretty happy. Um, fortunately I didn't get any locks though while I was over there, um, but anyway I thought I'd come back and I've been, I'll do a video, but I've been busy with work, as always happens, you go away for a holiday and then you come back and it's work, so, but I thought I'd we'll check out this lock that was sent in in that last package I got from Funky Monkey. Um, this is first watch, and as you can see, it hasn't been opened. It's still in its original packaging. So I thought open it up out the package and we'll have a look to see how good a lock this is. Um, what's it got here? Hardened steel shackle, so it provides superior strength against cutting and sawing. Um, six pin tumbler, hardened steel case for ultimate security. Rekeyable cylinder, which is good. Hopefully, we'll be able to gut it. Um, two solid brass keys. Um, double locking ball bearing steel ones and serial numbered keys so let's have a look see what it's like oh, let's move the camera down a bit and I'll grab my little knife that really needs to sharpen. Come on, cut through. Oh, that was stuck in there. Right. No choice. Let's just do a video of me opening up the packaging. Alright. So, first thing is this is actually a pretty heavy lock. It has a fair bit of weight to it. Um, it's got a Allen screw in there, which will be probably to remove the shackle. Um, some more right bidding on that. Must admit, it's 
pretty good bidding. Get this knife out of the way before I go cut myself. And take one of these keys off. Come on. That way, a little bit stiff going in. So we've got spring loaded locking, it's not key retaining, which is good. And you can see the ball bearings in there, and Phillips screw. So, yep. Bit of oil or grease on the locking pulls there, but it does work nice. That there's pretty strong spring on that key, so as you can see, there's a bit of warding in there. Hopefully, you'll be able to fight around that and get this thing picked. Hopefully, you won't need the keys until the end. And if it works out all right, I might turn this into a challenge lock depending on what's in here. So I didn't read anything on the packaging about security pins. So, let's have a look. This one fit in. Yep, my homemade one should work. And we'll see if top the keyway. Yep. That is a very strong spring. So that's going to give us some trouble. To tell that from a mile away. So I'll just move this camera into a bit better position. And zoom in if it'll do it. Come on. All right. I'll try and do this in a way where you can see. Oh, just overcome that spring tension a little bit. Feel for a binder. It doesn't feel like any binding at the moment. Not so let's go a little bit heavier tension for something to bind. Okay, I think that pick is a bit bent. I think maybe the tip might be a bit too big. I feel like I'm pushing on two pins at once. So I might have to scratch that. And go for my last hook that I have. Uh, it should work. That's better. Uh, click out a six. We'll click out of one. Uh, 
Oh, got a bit of a fault set going there now. And I've just clipped three. There goes four. Get behind the tension wrench and onto pin one. I think I've got pin one then. Bounce around a bit of warding there. Trying to work to pick around this warding and feel which one is going to give me some feedback. Not an open, but it is a fault set. Just felt feedback then. What's that warding? Someone talk to me. <laughs> Move the fast then. Keep getting stuck on that bit of warding right there in the centre. I'm trying to fight around it and feel which pin is binding, but all my feedback is getting taken away. Just don't know if it's true counter or if it's warding. Right. Let's try that thin one again. Right. Definitely not an open. Who's not talking? Come on, somebody talk to me. Tell me who am I stuck on. Q1. 
Okay, just touch pin three. Try to push him up. Everything's just gone dead. I mean, everything feels bound up like it should be an open when I push on them, but I wish my nose would stop running. No, everything is completely seized. Well, that's counted in, but I think it's just make pushing on the warning. Might just quickly, just to check through one of my bottom of the keyways in, just make sure oh, that's bent. So who is it? There we go. Pin three. Wow, 19 minutes. That is just donkulous. You saw how far back that had to go. Whoa, camera zoomed right in. Still. You saw how far back that had to go. It virtually had to go all the way up to locking in order for it to uh, set. No wonder I had trouble with that. Wow. The highest possible cut. Alright, I need a Phillips. Uh, where are we, Phillips? Hopefully this fit. No, that's too small.
There we got it. So locking screw, get this stuff out of the way. Bring the base down. Hopefully, I'll be able to gut this, otherwise this will be a pretty short video. Oh, nice. Alright, turn that face plate off. Oh, look. Sit in like that. Alright, so... Pretty simple locking pull on the back there. There's no locking um, anti bypass wafers. There is a lot of gunk on there. I'll just quickly clean some of that off. Let's wipe it with cloth. And I don't think I've got a follower that'll fit that, but let's see. Uh, may work. This may be a uh, terrible gutting video. Hope not, but come on. See if this will work. Nope. All right, I might just quickly pause this while I take this clip off. Okay, so I've taken the clip off and I've just put a shim in there because I don't have a half moon follower at all to try and gut these. That's why I haven't um, picked the American locks yet. So hopefully this will work and we won't have a disaster. Fingers crossed. Oh, yes. Look at that. First time for everything. Alright, so all six pins, well, focus, are in there. And it looks like the front one is a steel pin, and the rest of them are all standard brass ones. Whoa, hello. I thought this would be pretty standard, but let's just check all these. Yep, so all these have to be picked. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh, just sneezed. All right. I did see some um screw pins in this. Whoa. Okay, don't know why it did that. That's a bit uh unexpected. Sorry about that. Alright, let's quickly get this done. 
pin one is a standard. Ooh, two serrated. Pin three is standard. These are tiny, tiny pins. Four is standard. Five is serrated. And lucky last, six is standard. And no modifications to the core at all. Alright. Upstairs. We have... Even that follow is not quite the right size. Table one. Another steel pin. That is a standard steel. Chamber two. Spool. Three. Spool. Four. Another spool. I'll turn it around and go from the back. I'll try to be quick. Six spool. Five is a spool. And they're all dear little baby brass springs in there. Don't really want to go knocking all them out. All right. So, have a quick look at these pins. My camera stopped going around everywhere. Alright, so in chamber one, we've got two steel standard pins. Chamber two, we have a serrated key pin and a spool for the driver. Uh, we've got a standard key pin in three, standard key pin in four. Um, spools all the way up the top. For the last five and another serrated in five and then standard in six so all up out of all 12 pins you're looking at two serrateds and five spools so not a bad block I must say is um a bit more uh, than i was expecting so Wow, okay. <laughs> um, for a lock that didn't really look all, like all that much, I must admit I am quite impressed. And my camera mount is going funny. Alright, so I'll quickly finish this off because we're nearly at half an hour. Um, as always, always follow the codes. Keep Locksport legal, you know, don't do anything stupid. Don't forget to come and join us on Discord. You can send us an email at darkartslockpicking at gmail.com and I can send you a link once you download the app to come and join us on Discord. Or you can access it through the internet browser as well. Um, don't forget to come and check us out on Instagram. We're up on there. Put up photos of what's going on, locks, stuff I'm working on, you know, all that jazz. The same as the Facebook page. Definitely come and check out the Facebook page as well. And please, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to all my subscribers. Appreciate it big time. Um, and until next time, cheers, guys.